What is a proper way to improve in kite surfing? My name is Petar Pavlovich, I have been kite surfing for 16 years now. I was Croatian freestyle champion in 2013. I competed in many other local competitions in different disciplines. And I love sharing my kitesurf experience with you. In this episode, I will give you 5 key points to have a smooth and high quality progression. I will tell you each crucial point with an extra explanation. And in the end of this episode, I will give you an opportunity to boost your progression with something that you never heard of before. If you're not a pro kite surfer who is used to spending every day and all day in the water practicing, I recommend to practice your new kite surfing move the first 30 minutes of your session. As after 30 minutes of jumping around, you might already feel pretty tired. The concentration might also slow down, so the risk of injury is higher. It means that you want to have a good warm-up before hitting the water. As soon as you enter the water, you do not do any kitesurfing move you already know. Start practicing your new kitesurfing move intensively. But as soon as you start feeling tired, stop practicing the new move and get back into enjoying kitesurfing and improving the moves you already know. Do not start learning certain moves during inappropriate conditions. For example, do not start with mega loops in light wind or in gusty conditions. Do not freestyle in gusty and strong wind conditions. The day before hitting the water, analyze the forecast and the spot conditions you will have and pick 2-3 different tricks you want to learn. Once you wake up the next day and you clearly see what kind of conditions you have, stick to one trick only that looks the best for the conditions you have that day. Many kitesurfers decide to practice a new trick just on their best side, maybe thinking, once I master the trick on one side, I will practice on the other side. Big mistake. In most cases, once you master a trick on one side, you refuse to practice on the other side, because you will feel like a beginner again. Also, it can be very frustrating to come on a spot where the perfect kickers are rolling on your weakest side, and you're not able to use them to boost it high. Another reason why you should immediately practice the trick on both sides is that you can be your own coach. I personally always learn a new trick on both directions, even if on one side I don't have a good feeling at all. With a bit of pushing myself to do the trick on my weakest side, it often happens that actually on this particular side, maybe I don't jump or rotate so well, but the landing is often good. And in the opposite direction, I am able to jump or rotate very well, but I have problems with the landing. So I analyze the situation and picture what I'm doing on each side so I can combine all my good body and kite movements to perfect my trick on both sides. In the end, I'm usually better on the side that I had problems to begin with. If you're already someone who learns certain moves just on one side, it can slow your progression for more advanced moves. I highly recommend to start practicing all the tricks you already know in the opposite direction. This will help you getting a better feeling of your body and kite movement, so you can progress and learn more difficult kitesurfing moves. Another tip I must give you, do not trust your coach 100% when he is teaching you a certain move, if he or she is not able to perform this move in both directions. If the coach is not able to teach himself how to do a certain move on his weak side, it is difficult to believe that he can teach you. But of course, he might help you with certain things. There are plenty of reasons why you may not feel confident. The most common one is being afraid to fail. Like dropping the kite on the water, losing the board, ending up with an inverted kite, twisted lines. And you are not sure how to react in these situations. This is why I covered everything about basics and safety on my YouTube channel, with all the things you need to know to have more confidence in learning new kitesurfing moves. Some people are afraid of injuries. So of course, if you think you will break your leg, do not go for a trick. Your mindset is a really powerful thing, so use it correctly. Do not try it, do it. It is a huge difference I felt while learning all my kitesurfing moves, but also for life in general. If you are thinking to just try something, it means that you are already ready to fail, which will in most cases end up this way. And if you are just visualizing how you are going to land your trick, it's going to make a huge difference. In most cases you will succeed or you will be super close. So it will definitely help if you visualize the move you want to do and think about each step of your body position and kite movement. Almost everyone thinking about doing a new kitesurfing move are looking for tutorials on YouTube. 
which is a great idea. So you can see how the body position and the kite movement should look like while performing certain moves. Same thing if you see yourself kite roofing and performing new moves. It will definitely be useful to analyze your every move. I have learned most of my tricks this way. So it would be great if you have a good friend who is willing to spend 10-15 minutes recording you, simply with a phone. After your session, you can analyze your kite and body movements. Often it happens that you are sure you are doing a certain movement with your body or with your kite. But after seeing the clip, you realize that it is not true at all. So for the next session, you know on what body or kite movement you should focus on and what you should correct. I believe that I was able to analyze my mistakes quite well as I'm working as a kite surfing instructor for many years. And my job is also to analyze people's mistakes. So if you're not able to see and understand your mistakes, here is a great opportunity for you. By supporting me over my Patreon account, you will get access to my online coaching. It means that we are able to communicate via text messages, voice messages, video messages, or even calls and video calls. You are able to send me as much as clips as you want of you kite surfing, so I can analyze them and tell you what you can improve. I am as well able to send you clips of me doing certain tricks you are working on, to get an even better understanding of how the move should look like. I can also better understand your background in sports, so I might give you additional tips how to approach your new kite surfing move. Please feel free to subscribe on my Patreon and delete your subscription as soon as you don't need my help anymore. I would be more than happy to help in your progression. Please like this video if you find it useful and I hope to hear from you soon.